Today we'll take a look at how to configure SnapLogic to consume a RESTful endpoint. In order to do so, we need to create a REST account in SnapLogic. To do that, we can either drag and drop one of the REST snaps onto the canvas and have the system dynamically create the account for us via a walkthrough screen in the designer. The implication there is the account that you create will be in the same project folder as the pipeline. The other way is actually create the REST account in the manager. This way we can actually choose where we want this REST account to reside in any of the given project folder. But in this example, we'll take a look at how to create a REST endpoint account via the designer. So I'm just going to drag and drop any of these um, REST operators. I'm just gonna pick the REST get drag and drop that onto the canvas. From here, I'm going to click into it, navigate to the accounts tab. Clicking the add account should prompt me into the account create option screen. And here I can pick the various uh, rest authentication that we support. Um, the actual method really depends on the endpoint you're trying to consume, so I would say refer to your REST API documentation. But just to go through this list, the concept is actually really simple. If you read the documentation and it simply says we just needed a basic authorization, then a username password will be suffice. Otherwise, you can pick any of the other authorization methods that's shown on this list. If you have any questions, feel free, or issues connecting, feel free to contact SnapLogic support, visit the documentation uh, site, as well as visit our community site for any additional assistance. Thank you very much.